daily commute to Aliso Beach. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, uh, whoa, look at that. Oh, it's dumping. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find waves today, guys. Pretty much just victory at sea out there. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're working with. Oh my God. The creek is actually full. The berm is pretty high. I'm very surprised that this thing hasn't blown out into the ocean with how hard it's raining. But my guess is it's just a matter of time. It seems like a majority of the rain's hitting us right now. So my guess is this thing's probably gonna break out into the ocean here pretty soon. You can see the, the water just, oh, it's actually, it's more than just moving forward slowly. It's, oh boy, this is interesting had to go back home and get the, the rain jacket. We've got a natural break. It's uh, starting to flow out into the ocean. It's just a trickle right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna go walk you out there and check it out. I don't think I'm getting in the water for this one. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty gross, I think. Water quality is probably absolutely horrendous, but we're gonna show you what the natural break is doing right now. Here we go, let's go check it out. Full victory of sea. Let me know if there's a wave that's about to wash me away.
That's a wet pants. Oh my god. <laughs> pretty cool it is extremely windy right now the storm surf is going off not in a good way it's just big and unruly and a lot of water moving a lot of water moving the creek is just a gentle trickle now it's only 10:09 a.m so we probably first looked at it this morning at i guess it's around 8 30 and it wasn't even breaking into the ocean. Around nine, it started to do a little trickle and then only an hour later, it's totally emptied out into the ocean. Um, that was a pretty fun one to experience. We're gonna go drive the parking lot and check it out right now. Wow. It's pretty safe to say it's blowing at least 40 knots. <laughs> Look at all that sand. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think this is as windy as it's gonna get today. It's probably blowing 35 knots, maybe, maybe gusts of 45. To be moving wet sand like that, it's gotta be blowing pretty, pretty strong. I don't even know how that thing got there. The wind blew that all the way down from the other side of the parking lot. Yep. This lady has her camera out. Like a nice DSLR camera. What is she doing? 
this lady's crazy. We just uh, pulled back, pulled back at the creek, pulled back into the creek spot, and wait until you see the watercolor right now. It is chocolatey. So this is only 30 minutes after the creek broke. For whatever reason, all the uh, storm water seems to be rushing down right now. Looks like a different day almost. Just a walk in the park. The pants are soaking. control <sighs> okay that's a wrap we just left the Aliso parking lot and it looks like a tree blew down right up the street onto PCH check this out holy what the heck literally shrapnel thing got destroyed the river breaching search continues. We just got word that the Doheny River mouth breached through the sand berm, so we're gonna go check that out. I drove by it this morning at 8 a.m. and it was almost dry. There was hardly any water that was um, collecting at the sand berm, but apparently between 8 a.m. and 11, there was a lot of water flowing down that thing. This, this river is about 10 times the size, maybe bigger than the Aliso one, and it should be uh, pretty interesting to watch it flow out. before the river broke through the sand berm, came all the way up to there. That's insane. Here's the, the water line up right here too. So where I'm standing, I was about a foot, maybe, yeah, maybe a foot below water, maybe three feet below water. It's high. Right, look at that, that's the water line. That's insane. Oh, barrier. Standing barrel. That was a pretty action packed day. We got to see the Aliso Creek break into the ocean and the Doheny River mouth break into the ocean. It's not often we get weather like this in SoCal, so it's pretty exciting for us, uh, us Californians. 
just to have a rainy day like this with this much wind and um, all the chaos, it's, it's pretty fun. We don't see that too often. That's exactly why I'm freaking out. I think I'm pretty glad I stayed out of the water though. That water was very, very dirty, especially after watching the water at Doheny. Pretty disappointing to see all the plastics and debris and just garbage flowing out into the ocean. Really gives you some perspective on how polluting these big river mouths are when they're flowing into the ocean like that. You can only imagine what some of the other river mouths are doing in the area, like the, um, I guess the LA River, that thing's gotta be just dumping garbage into the ocean right now. And even the Tijuana River, probably just sad. So right now there's a lot of, uh, a lot of pollutants going into the ocean, a lot of trash going into the ocean. I think it's gonna be pretty critical that we do beach cleanups after a rain like this because that's when all the debris washes up on the shore and I can guarantee you your local beach will probably have some trash of some sort on it especially if you're close to a river mouth there's the, the river jetties river mouth I've seen that thing just dump garbage everywhere so yeah let's try to do some beach cleanups after this I think they're they're gonna be necessary to to get all this crap out of the water and, and off the beach. All right, thank you all for watching. And uh, if you wanna share some of your, your collections of trash the next few days, I'd love to hear what you find. And as you can see from these videos, there's all sorts of stuff washing into the ocean. We saw a baby stroller, propane tank, a barrier, car barrier of some sort. So let's get to cleaning up and uh, we'd love to hear what you find at the beach. Make sure you're wearing gloves and the proper protective equipment and even um, the proper equipment to pick up trash. I think that's gonna be pretty huge. I usually use uh, tongs, so check them out and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, peace. Looks like after all the chaos, a lot of water, a lot of filth dumped into the ocean today. A lot of sand moved too. That's about a. That's about a. I'd say 12 foot sand burn right there. Maybe maybe 11 feet. That's crazy. Down right there.